My birth mother was born on the 18th of March 1972. She was one of three, along with her brother and sister. I don't know exactly where she was born, but when she was very young, she didn't have a strong relationship with her mum and dad. In fact, she didn't really know who they were. And Tatiana was in an orphanage up until she was around 17 or 18 years old. She didn't really know her mum and dad. She kept in touch sometimes with her father by writing letters. But after she left the orphanage, she then went to go and work for a factory that made bread. She was still in Archangelsk around this time, and this is around the time that she met my birth father, Misha. Now, they were actually together for a little while. They were actually in a, in a relationship um, that was going on for a while. They were together for quite some time, and when she fell pregnant, nobody heard from her again. And my birth father, that was the last time he ever heard from her. And so what happened after this was, around this time in the early 1990s, she then went to Rabinsk. She's now living there to this day. She got married to Andrew, who was with her for quite some time. He sadly passed away a few months ago. I got to meet Andrew, I was fortunate to meet him five years ago when I went to Russia for the first time. I could see that he really looked after Tatiana. I could see that he was a nice person and it was sad to hear the news about him passing away. And my birth mother, she needed that. She needed that emotional support and she needed that hand. I realized that a lot of people, when they saw me meeting my birth mother, it was hard to see any emotions coming out of her, but you can't be the one to judge or you can't, you can't say anything until you've put yourself into her shoes. And despite be, having, that, having that personality where she, she didn't really show many emotions when I met her, or even to those other points of, of seeing her, she wrote letters to me and the letters showed a lot of emotion. And she did point out that she was very thankful to have met my mum and dad. She bowed to my parents, she said, thank you so much, she wrote in this letter. And I was very thankful for that. And I could see that she was happy that I was here. And she knows a little bit about New Zealand. She's um, learned a little bit since she met me. But you know, we, our relationship is slowly getting there and her life, it's, it's, an interesting, it's an interesting life. And I don't know the full story. I don't know the full story. I don't know exactly how her life has been. I don't know what's happened throughout her life. I don't know, I, I don't know a lot about her life, but when I see her, I know it makes her day. It does, it makes her day. One thing I'd like to point out was a moment when I was with my birth mother, when I saw her the second time, was when she met my mum and dad on, that, on the TV show and as well as my birth father meeting my mum and dad, that was just as great. But when my birth mother met my mum, when they hugged each other and my birth mother looked into my mum's eyes and you could see a big relief and thanks to my mum. And I remember watching that and I was just, I, I couldn't believe what was happening. It felt like it was all a dream. It felt like it was very surreal. It felt, I felt like I was overwhelmed with emotions about seeing that actually happen in real life and seeing that happen face to face because I didn't know when that would ever happen. So I had a lot of respect for my mum for doing that and a lot of respect for my birth mother for choosing to say hello to my mum and dad. That is her life, that's what she does now. And I will be seeing her again, I know I will be. And I'm happy that I was able to share a little bit about her life for you to have a watch and learn. I have a few other videos about my birth mother that you can have a look on my YouTube channel. And if you're interested to know a little bit about my side of my story or my journey, please check out my channel. And I thank you so much for watching.